stand and welcome Mr. Ron Lord on our platform. Thank you so much, Dr. Jürgen Bürler, Minister Shamir, Rabbi Benny Elon, visiting members of parliament, members of Congress, my dear Christian friends. As president of the World Jewish Congress, the one organization that re represents all of the Jewish communities around the world, I cannot think of a more important place to be than here right now, than in this room with you. A very smart rabbi once told me that Jews are good at many things, but unfortunately, we are not always good at saying thank you. So let me begin. So let me begin tonight with a very direct and heartfelt thank you. Thank you for your steadfast support of Israel and the Jewish people. Thank you for your commitment to decency and the values we all cherish. Thank you for standing up for what is right and not what is wrong. Thank you for standing on the right side of history. Thank you for standing with God. And thank you for standing with us, the Jewish people. And lastly, that's most important, thank you for standing here in Jerusalem, the eternal undivided capital of the State of Israel. Twenty years ago, I stood on the walls of this city in front of 450,000 people, the largest gathering ever held in this country. Some of you were there. I remember seeing David Parsons. He was there with his signs. It meant a great deal to me. And as I said at that time, I'm just one Jew who declares this holy city, Jerusalem, as the one true capital of the Jewish people. Okay. And today, I stand here as the president of the World Jewish Congress. I'm still only one Jew, but this one Jew, on behalf of all of us, says thank you. You have come here in the middle of the Jewish High Holy Days, and specifically on Sukkot, the Feast of the Tabernacles, when the Bible mandates us to return to Jerusalem. This is a very important time to be here. As you know, Sukkot is also known as the harvest of the of tabernacles. 
As it says in Leviticus 23, you shall live in huts for seven days. I, the Lord, want to remind you that these were were the huts that the children of Israel lived in during their journey through the wilderness. That your generations may know that I made the children of Israel dwell in huts when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. During the days of Sukkot, we leave the secure, secure confines of our permanent homes, and we dwell in the sukkah, a thatched hut. This must be a temporary dwelling, and it should be flimsy and frail. And yet, it is during this festival that we must rejoice, because when the walls come down, we then have the capacity to see beyond them. We have a chance to reflect on the blessings that God gave each of us. We can appreciate the most fundamental parts of our lives, and we recognize the intrinsic goodness of our fellow man. The lessons of the Sukkah is that everything we have is a gift from God. We must... We must be grateful, and we must never fear, and we must never take anything for granted. So you see, it is a festival that teaches us and reminds us also to say thank you. We also convene here on a very, on a very special evening, and a very special time. Our world has gone through strange upheavals in the past when people lost their way, when children ignored the teaching of their parents, when the lessons of the Torah, our shared Bible, were forgotten. How can you possibly explain all the anger and hate heaped on Israel throughout the world? How can you explain the hundreds of resolutions passed in the UN against Israel and not a word about anyone else? How can you explain the long silence about Syria? How can you explain the even longer silence about Iran when its centrifuges keep spinning, even as they promise to erase Israel from the pages of time? Sadly, we know all too well what happens when the world is silent. We know what can happen. You know what can happen. We learned this this lesson the hard way. I pledge to you tonight in this sacred city, our sacred city, that I will not be silent. I will not be silent when Christian churches are burned by fundamentalists throughout the Middle East. I will not be silent. I will not be silent when Christian Arabs are murdered only because they are Christian, as they were last week in Syria. I will not be silent when 450,000 Christians are driven out of Syria just this past year. I will not be silent when the Christian population of Lebanon has been terrorized I will not be silent when Christian holy sites are desecrated in Arab lands. I will not be silent, and we will not be silent. Fifty years ago, the population of Bethlehem was 70% Christian. Today, it is 15% Christian. We can't be silent anymore, and we have to also see what can be done, because we know what happens when the world looks the other way. We will not be silent. Let this be a start of speaking out. This, because this is our home, and also this is your home, and nothing will ever change that.
We will walk down the path together. We will share each other's joys, and we will share each other's trials. We will support each other, and we will protect each other. Why? Because we all come from the same family. We all believe in the same book. We all believe in God and the Ten Commandments and the Golden Rule. We all cherish our children, and we all want to live in peace with our neighbors. You know, it has always struck me as ironic when the Jews rose up out of the horror of the, horror of the Holocaust and returned to this land after 2,000 years. The only people who were not surprised by this miracle were all of you. The reason for that is because not only do you believe in the Bible, you actually read it. <laughs> you know that Genesis, in Genesis 15, God promised the land to the descendants of Abraham. You know that in Exodus 23, God promised Moses that he will lead the nation of Israel to Jerusalem. Not Paris, not New York, Jerusalem. He will lead them here. You know that in Numbers 34, we even learn the specifics of the boundaries of the land. We have to wonder, how many times does God have to tell us something before we listen. You want to see miracles? They're all around you. It's here that you walk in the footsteps of our patriarchs and your Lord. Look at this country that was created out of nothing but hard work, sacrifice, prayer, and the belief in God. These are the tenets that we all share, hard work, sacrifice, prayer, and the belief in God. Isn't it amazing what these four values can create? That is what binds us and brings us together. This past June, when, pre when President Shimon Peres turned 90, he wrote, and I quote, when I was a child, Israel was a legend, more than a reality. She emerged from that dream, and today she has su surpassed that dream. Our work is not yet complete. We came to the promised land, and now we must make it a land of promises. Yeah. President Paris is right. Our work is never complete. After 2,000 years, the Jews have come home. And now we stand together tonight in our ancient homeland and our eternal undivided capital, together with our Christian brothers and sisters. Together, we hope and pray for a better tomorrow. Let us continue to work together to, to achieve what is great in mankind. The World Jewish Congress will always stand with International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem. and will always stand with all the sponsoring Christian groups here today. You have never fallen sway to false prophets. Not only will we stand with you, we are proud to stand with you. I am proud to stand with you. And as I said at the beginning, thank you for standing with us. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your continued support. I pray for all of you. May we go forward here together, arm in arm, one family under God, 
and continue our work with strength and determination. You have my solemn commitment to work with all the Jewish communities around the world to help you, to support you, as you supported us. And as I, al and, and, and as I always say, please be with us and we'll be with you. God bless each and every one of you. Thank 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 you so much. This was wonderful. This is wonderful. Absolutely. They are with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.